Alright, how's it going guys? So, in a previous video I told you guys I was going to um, show you how to use Easel, which is the software that I primarily use in regards to uh, using the CNC machine. So, uh, let's get started. So what you're going to do is you go to Invenables.com and you click on Easel and then Explore Easel and you do have to set up an account. I've got my log, my information logged in. So it's going to bring up this screen right here <clears throat> and if you have done other projects it will show it and what I like about it is so these are projects that I've done in the past but I haven't done on this computer some of these so if you log in to uh, easel on a different computer and you work on it and then say you come to the computer that has your CNC machine on it will uh, just automatically pop up because it saves it on the cloud and so for example like the smoking rat one um, that I'm going to be doing for somebody else it's I did it on another computer and I'm able to log on to my laptop here and it comes right up um, so what we're going to do is we're going to I'm just going to go ahead because that's the one I was going to show you guys alright so you click here you click new project <coughs> excuse me it's going to pop up here so here's where you do everything so the first thing you want to do is figure out okay what what's the size of the uh, material I'm going to use um, I'm going to go with a 5 by 5 and I work in inches some people work in uh, meters millimeters and all that fun jazz I prefer not to it's confusing so I just stick to inches, so five and a half by five and a half. And so what Easel will do is it'll show you, okay, this is your piece of wood measured at five and a half by five and a half. And then say I want to uh, import an image. So what I'll do is I'll go up to the file here and I'll click import SVG, which I use at it. Easel requires you to put in SVG or SVG files. Some people do the G codes where you can use uh, different software and <clears throat> create your design and then download the G codes and then transfer it into Easel. I personally have not. I usually just save images as an SVG and I can show you guys where, um, where, you, where I, or what software I use to convert. But all right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So we're just gonna do a simple, let's see here. That's too big. Trying to find a design that I know will fit on the here. Let's do this one. So this is one that I came up with. So it's well I found, but the sign that I use this for uh, says keep calm and press on which we can do that so alright so <clears throat> as you see it brought in the image and the image is a drill press you've got to mess around with the uh, design to show to, to have the detail come out better alright so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my bit because as you can see it right now it's set at an 8 one eighth inch and I mean it's this is going to show you exactly what it's going to cut out and as you can see it's not going to cut anything the only thing it's going to do is drill a hole through the material so you need to change this go down to end mills and I put in one this is the only time I use millimeter millimeter now you can use you can click millimeter but it still keeps everything else in inches alright so once again it's still a little messed up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate that I do not want it to drill all the way through. So I'm going to do it at 0.05 is the depth. Set that depth. And then you can see it's still a little messed up. Right now it, it defaults to clear out a pocket. So what I do is I click on cut on shape path. And see now it's looking a little bit better. And so what this is going to do, this is telling uh, Easel, is I want to cut this design on the path 
of the design so it would cut right on the lines but what you can tell easel which one sec, this one you gotta combine I forget so you go to edit so if you want to combine it say you got a design and it's got like a hundred different little pieces in it what you can do is you can come here and click what you want you go edit combine and it's going to combine that and then as you can see it's got lettering down here that we don't want highlight delete bring down your design again <clears throat> excuse me all right so like I said it's going to cut on the, the path of the design you can also do cut on the outside of the path or the design up oh, generate detail preview it's going to show you what it's going to look like on the board when it's cut all right so it's looking a little bit better i mean this design there's a lot of detail in it um but you can obviously tell that's a drill press or you can do cut inside the path so it's going to cut inside of the design but as you can see it just doesn't work so the best option I'm going to do is cut outside shape path alright so I've got my shape here or I've got my design of the drill press I'm just going to move that over to, to the side for right now So let's say I want to do some lettering. <coughs> so I can come over here to the text, the fonts. And in the free version of Easel, you're limited on what um, fonts you can use. Um, if you do upgrade to the pro version, which um, I can't remember how much it is. Let's see here. I can show you right now. Maybe not. But yeah, so here's the pro. These are the fonts you can get if you upgrade the pro. And I mean it's a it is a lot. But I use the free version. A lot of the guys that do this use the free version. If you would like to upgrade to pro, subscribe to pro. There it is. Alright, so years yearly subscriptions, $155. Um, there are some sub websites out there where you can type in a message and you can uh, change the font and then you can copy and paste that into Easel. Um, one of my buddies has done that for me in the past where he found a font and he typed out what he wanted on the message, put it on that or changed it to that font and then sent me that file. And you cannot edit it, but you'll at least have that... Um, the phrase that that person wants you just can't edit it but you can size it and get to whatever design or um, size you want but all right so back to what I was gonna say <laughs> squirrel um, so we can do the text I don't have the best of luck when it comes to like the cursive or the very fine um, uh, designs very detailed designs because what you'll run into is when the bit is cutting, it'll be cutting and say there's a small little thin slice inside, well that can easily break off. And so what I, the, the fonts that I usually use is the Bangers, I've used Bakersville, uh, Bebuzz, Bemo, uh, the Homestead, I use Homestead quite a bit. Um, so let's use let's use the bangers. All right. So the phrase that I use is keep calm press on. And so like I said earlier it automatically defaults to clear out a pocket um, 
<clears throat> excuse me uh, what you can do once again is you indicate what depth you want I'm going to do it at the point oh five depth make sure it's matching yes it is point oh five uh, with the lettering I'm going to bring it down so it'll fit on my material now you can type in each individual word and then um, does change it and do whatever you want but for this video I'm just going to keep it all in one text box um, so I've set the depth to 0.05 I can then tell it to either cut on shape so once again that's going to cut right on the path of the design as you can see it turned out looks like it's going to turn out pretty cool um, right here is what I'm talking about so when you have like a little small little piece right here what the problem you can have is when the bits going through here and it's cutting because this is what it's going to cut out and it can break this little piece right here um, let's see here is there any other little portions so let's go let's put that as cut outside shape path let's see what that does so that eliminates that little area in here of the A. Um, you can still kind of make out the phrase. It's not the best. So let's do cut inside shape path. All right. So the cut in inside the shapes path, you can see that it makes the A a little bit better inside. You might still, your bit might still kind of uh, break that little piece there. Um, but you can make out the lettering, keep calling, press on. So I think I'm going to do, let's see here, let's decide. Keep on shape path. Um, cut inside. It's a preference on what you want to do. I'm going to do the keep inside, or yeah, cut inside with shape path. All right. Um, all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, put you down there for a sec. I'm going to bring in my image of the drill press. And so right now, like, I don't know if it is, like, perfectly centered. So what you can do is you can come up here, you click on the image that you want to center to the piece of material. You click Edit, Center to Material. So that's going to bring it directly right into the middle of that piece of wood. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over. So I know it's centered in regards to um, uh, being in the middle, but I'm still going to be able to move it over and still keep it centered. But all I'm doing is just shifting where I want the drill press to be. And then I'm going to bring my keep calm. Once again, I'm going to do edit center to material. <coughs> And I'm going to bring it over. I would use the mouse, but that can change how it's centered, if that makes any sense to you guys. Alright, so let's see here. So I can make this a little bit bigger if I wanted to. There we go. And once again, just go ahead and just center material again. Yeah. Come on. There it goes. Move it to where the comma is. Right about to the five. That line, the blue line is right on the five. There we go. So, all right, so let's generate the